Well, hello there, Survivor. This is Chris Minute Myth Tracker, and this is the War Z. I've just logged in two days before the big wipe and found out there's a patch. Apparently, the, the uh, full map's open. You can play clans, have clans uh, server chat. Uh, XP seems to be in. I've not actually been in yet to experience it, but this is quite exciting. And also, last night I had some uh, excellent time. I just wish I was recording it. It was, it was good. Uh, two civilians, unfortunately, they tried to jump me, and one bandit. Bandit in the tunnel right at the end. It was a really good shot. One shot with an M16 whilst he was lying down, and I think he was trying to log out as well. He just led down. Uh, I was, he was actually looking the other way. Uh, I kept saying, Oh, nice body armor. He went, Oh, thanks, and then he suddenly went prone. So I think he knew I was right behind him. Right, let's have a look at the map. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness me, no red military base. Frosty Pine Resort Town. Mount Massive Weather Station. Oh, I'd love to have a look up at that. Oh goodness, that looks good. Morning all. Right, so yes, just over that ridge slightly, as you start coming down. I was coming over, let's say. This was it here. Bends the opposite way. And I noticed that bush there had a really dark black shadow, it was slightly moving. So I dropped prone. It was darker than that drop prone and I saw it moving even more. So I laid some shots into it. And someone fired back with a shotgun about six times. So I moved back and moved back until I can actually get a better position. And As I was moving back, I noticed movement to my left, looked up, found out that there was a, a girl trying to uh, flank me with a hammer. So I turned around, uh, laid into her with my M16, down to five shots left, I think it was. Uh, she, she was killed. Um, I quickly went and I looked at the body and I suddenly thought, no, let's have a look around. So I popped over the top of the horizon and lo and behold, her friend was running in. So I dropped to the ground, got shot by, I think, must have been their last shotgun blast. Uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't close, so I didn't, I took 90% damage, dropped to the ground, used a medicate. I had a hammer, so I need some uh, good pinpoint accuracy. I'm going to have to shoot these with a pistol. And I quickly swapped out. Oh, the, some people are disappointed with the female characters. Oh, I never looked at those. So I swapped out really rapidly and probably scared him to death because they 
eight shots into him and killed him. Excellent, XP's working. I just noticed that they're actually spawning faster than I could kill them. <laughs> Apparently, zombie AI has been improved for collision. So I'll take this opportunity to actually go back through and check the new area. Quick look here for supplies. Look at the female characters afterwards. Oh, there's how I won't record too much. And oh gosh, yes, someone else is there already. Areas yet. I wonder if that's a pass there between Echo Compound and Emerald Peak Retreat. Or do we have to go down? Let's see if I can get down there. What I'm going to try and do is... Go up to camp, splinter, and then get over. Trouble is, by the time my time's up, I won't even get there. Let's try and make some hair up. 
nice to get the XP though for killing the undead. Gives you more an incentive to kill the undead instead of actually uh, just trying to bypass them and kill other players. Now I hope you don't get XP for killing players because that would actually mean banditry would be rife. Uh, a lot more people in now, so that area's going to be jumping. What I might do is just try and get to a good point to get over there and then log off till later on. Cause I, I want a little bit of time to explore without everyone rushing there. I've been pulling zombies out. I see new area. I wonder if they changed the uh, loot rules for any of the places. Let's go in and give it some hammer time. I do miss my combat knife. My other character yesterday, uh, the new, the new one, which uh, Nat. He had just a hammer, that's right, a combat knife, and. Ooh. And a grill of vest. Turned around the corner last night in clear view. And another player with a hammer who got the first hit on me. I tried to use a medikit and uh, got killed. Wasn't fast enough. I'm sure it's the person I said friendly and he said yes, so I tried to ignore him and keep well away from him. But he, sent, he seemed like he was ended up hunting me out. So. Now some people are saying it would be nice to see LA or New York, but it would be nice to have a map which has which is dominated by a larger city. But having two city maps that wouldn't be good. What would be good is if uh, you had one with half a city in, like with the half bombed out or something. Uh, with huge tall buildings where you can actually snipe across the road. Uh, it's got more versatility. Um, versatility. You can go up. So you've got like 12 floors you can actually uh, exploit. It's almost like a uh, just Dread the Black War. That would be entertaining. And the other one would be more flatter. But a lot, a lot more maze-like. Uh, I think a map which is almost all city would be very interesting. Make it like a, they could even make an uh, escape from New York style of thing, where the entire map is a walled-in section. When the infection started, that's what they did. They walled it completely in, trapping everyone inside. Yes, I thought there was a pass here. Let's just quickly have something to eat. Um, oh, no drink! Oh, good, I got some food, uh, water back from the soup. Excuse me, waiter, what is the soup of the day? Today's is broccoli and stilton. But yes, having 
the med kit there is very handy. Get hit, drop, med kit out, use it, get up with your weapon, go out firing. Here we go, going straight up to the NORAD base. I wonder if they've actually done the rock exploit. I'll keep an eye out for it. Report back to them. No, I guess they'll ignore my emails for about a week and a half. That's what they did last time. Oh my, uh, the stuck one apparently. If you get stuck, it's your own fault. No, I'm paraphrasing really. They said there's nothing they can do about it. There should be a. Uh, a system in the in there where you can actually log out to a service screen and uh, press a button that puts your character inactive for 20 minutes and during that time it's moved to a, a, a respawn point but it's not killed it's just respawned randomly Actually, you can tell the difference already. The trees are slightly more spread out. I can see some buildings towards the north and northeast. Not a bit of that. I want to I want to get at least a good long look at it. It looks like a basin for killing in, isn't doesn't it? I wonder if the sniper points well bandits have they changed the place to go keep this Norad base well under wraps. That seems like a good point. I need to try and see some counter sniper points as well. Goodness me, people are coming in just for the patch, I think. Got about a kilometre left to go here. Yeah. I wonder how I actually do the clans then, because I didn't see any buttons somewhere. We'll do a quick look and then I'll log out and we'll have a little quick look. See if there's anything in the marketplace or I'll look at the new characters. Before I get hit by a bazooka or something. Right, so Knife point, possibly up there if you can get up there. It'd be stupid of them actually to be off on that ridge there. That's where people are going to. You don't want someone running towards you. Possibly there to get down in the valley. I was going to sing down in the valley then. I'm sure you don't want to hear me sing. There, because people be running up this way, not there. If they get close enough, then pistol fire. You could still probably slide off the edge of that. Starting to see buildings, I think.
there, along there, along the ridge lines, the trees. It's going to cover, then I'll have a quick look with the binox. I wonder if they've added more loot spawns and zombies to boulder. They'll probably be tweaking it for the next millennium. Tower there, anyone's up there, stupid. Quite a big area. That is definitely a bandit point because look, we have direct line of sight down there. Oh, someone's already been here, run up to the top. So we got the opposite way. Now, it will be interesting to see zombies with helmets that it takes more than one shot or doubles the amount of hits to knock them down. It's a good idea. Sorry, I just had that because I think about all the military. I wonder what would have happened if you actually went up to a zombie with. Uh uh, two bandits already. Right, better bandit position, just there. So I'm going to do something to drop down there, have a look at my binocs, and have a look another time. Because I said this place is going to be swarming, there's no point really looking if there's more than, or if I'd say, 10 people on. You got problems over here. Let it calm down. over there. Crushed heli. Fuel station for when vehicles come in. I have heard that Sergio would like uh, one garage per global inventory so when you can when you uh, log off in a safe zone you can save your vehicle. I'm not sure if I like that or not. Many problems but it hasn't been officially confirmed but they will be bringing in some, uh, vehicles like one or two at a time apparently the coding's done, they're just bugging it Right, I'm going to log off now and see what else we can see. I'm dying to get down there, but with that 
uh, Bandit in the result, they could be all over the place. Uh, and with only two days to go, it'll be ba 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 ba. Won't give anyone a chance to have a nice look anywhere. Right, Liz. Oh, sorry, sorry, Ted. Bye bye. Has Mike got anything? Let's have a look. No, we'll delete him as well. Bye bye. Mechanic, I'm rocking all the interesting. Right, so Oops. Helen Meep. Very slutishly they're standing, look how like, far the legs are apart. No, no woman would stand like that unless they were trying to attract people. Unfortunately, they're not looking much like their concept art, like these two guys are like uh, Rebel Without a Cause and Average Joe. So I think that was his look completely and utterly. The next military, he was alright, but he had a, a dog tag on. This one here is just definitely for the children. Look at that. You can tell about the 12 year olds salivating over this model. Don't like the tattoo. I think the tattoo should be optional because I'm not, I'm not a big person for tattoos. Sorry about that if you are. Anything that one. Strange thing is, some of them aren't. Oh, right, it has remembered all the experience you've ever developed, it just hasn't shown it. Right, let's look at the marketplace quickly. Let's see if there's anything new things here. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. It's all this system are oh, coming soon. Friends coming soon. News coming soon. 
Alright, how do you create a clan? It could be wiped anyway, so... You can change icons. Oh, there's only three so far. very buggy and very clunky. Obviously it's trying to connect to a server to actually figure out all these. You can see most members only have one person in. Oh, well that's 13. The Zombie Squad. With a bandit, JK. Oh dear, he's going to get shot in the head a lot, isn't he? Let's see if there's any options. For some reason it's gone really slow at the moment. Must be a uh, memory leak in the community section. I don't think there's anything new there. Yeah, there's definitely a memory leak because everything's going really slowly. It's going even slower. Right, I'm going to actually call that there. Thank you very much, survivors. This is Corithwin at Myth Tracker doing the War Z. And if you survive, we'll speak to you later. Take care.